back in the building. And I hear all the fuss out there. I live stream the fight, I seen it. And I have to say, well, I ain't gonna say, but I'ma tell ya. Yeah. Really won. There's a lot of people saying the Woodley won, and he got robbed. And there's a lot of people saying the Paul won, Jake Paul won. But we're gonna get into that right now, right here. Hello, welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite sports. While they're trying to talk about the boxing is over, it really ain't over. But a lot of people do need to step up and start fighting each other. But Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley. At first, I was like, man, I know we didn't pay to see this. (laughs) But then, you know, both of them kind of war because you know both you could just tell both of them wasn't no professional boxers tyron willie's a professional athlete but man the way he was charging in i was like only thing he missed is being able to grab his legs and take him down because <laughs> the punches man he was putting together them combinations you seen the percentage was off and that's where i was like dang man so tyron willie really did because you're doing a lot but if, if they can guarantee roll the tape back and see that you missed a lot of punches, I mean, you really you really lost the fight. I mean, you, you was exciting. It looks good. But at the same time, it, it just, it, it don't add up. Because, like, these people is paid to keep them punches add up, man. That's all I want to say. And especially when your percentage is off and you're missing way more than you're landing, but you're throwing them. And then they said the one round you only landed like six punches, man. Like, I wasn't counting it that technical. Like, you know, I couldn't beat them, but I can definitely be a commentator. But these niggas counted you only landed six punches in one round. And I see a lot of people yeah, out there, y'all want to be supportive. Don't lie to people. That's the last thing you want to do is lie to this man. And anybody lying to Jake Paul like he had a fabulous performance, even though he did win, don't be there was no yes man lying to this man because this nigga he, he he won but at the same time he got a lot of work to do because nigga if you think that you go try out any real boxer tomorrow or next fight i hate i hate man that fury guy might not knock you clean out you need to get your stamina up your wind up and you know like you need to get some kind of jab together. It wasn't you that had the jab. It was your brother that had the jab. Your brother got a good jab. And he needs to teach you more of it. I mean, like, you got a little bit of power, but at the same time, when you in the ring with a person that used to taking hits to the head, it's that bar knockout fight stuff is not working with them people, man. I'm telling you, you go have some people in there that you can't knock out. And then what you gonna be gassed like that? Cause then they gonna knock you out. So, you know, like you got a lot of work to do. But I can say you did win the fight. Cause although he did jump, see this is the whole thing. This is another reason that I didn't need the technical, technical points of the scorecards because in the fight, Jake Paul was, you know, more active swinging and hitting and he was more trying to walk him down or something, but I don't know what the plan was because Jake Paul was getting all the hits. He was getting, he was accumulating all the punches up. And then he, but I can say that once Tyron Woodley got to Jake Paul, he was like, oh, he about to get him out of here. He about to get him out of here, but he didn't get him out of there. He almost did. And a lot of people know in a real, that's a real boxing fan that Jake Paul really did get knocked out because he grabbed that rope. You're not supposed to touch that rope, man. He held that rope to stay up. I don't know if the referee seen that or if he overlooked it for a couple more thousands of dollars. No, I'm just <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm just telling you, man. All I all I can say is. Yeah. 
is that Tyron Willie wasn't doing enough work to even win some round. He was getting some good moments, the best moments of the round, but you can't just take two minutes, two minutes and 30 seconds, two minutes and 50 seconds of somebody else just, you know, tagging you while you're trying to walk, like you're trying to do something. We don't know what, <laughs> we don't know the picture that you made. <laughs> <laughs> but we we see we see you doing something, man. We just looking for something, man. I don't even know what we was even looking for no more, but <laughs> Tyron Willie, he gotta work on that one, man. Like you and him, but we like the Undertaker, nigga. <laughs> Go ahead, hit me, man. Hit me. I'm coming, man. I'm coming. That, that ain't good. Like, that ain't even going to work with a real fighter, Tyron. So, both of y'all need to do some work, but both of y'all did good because at the same time, Tyron Willie, I got to give it up to you for the whole fact that you went eight rounds, you didn't get knocked out, you definitely was on your Undertaker stuff, and we know you ain't been because he ain't go down. We know he ain't been, we know he ain't Nate Robinson. So, we know that much. But, man, you know you're going to need a better plan if you want to continue in the fighting ring. Than that one. That Undertaker stuff is not going to work in real boxing. <laughs> but, Jake Paul, we already said what you need to do, nigga. You, you, you need to uh, get a jab. Like, you need to figure out where you can buy a jab at, man, or something like a, a combination that makes sense. Your punches is too wide. You need to close that gap. You ain't going to knock too many people out with that in real boxing. But that's going to be the show for the day. And, you know, you feel like, hey, get me paid. Put me in the ring with you. See if you can knock me out. And that's going to be the show for the day. <laughs> well, if you didn't like what I say, it's hwlradio.com. You go over there and download the radio station app. All new music just dropped. You know, you got me, the baby. We, got, hey, we ain't canceling the baby because somebody else said to cancel the baby. The nigga has an opinion. I mean, y'all niggas gonna cancel me when I tell you how I feel. That means the nigga can cancel you when you tell somebody how you feel. So then y'all need to cut that out. The y'all show sure ain't gonna like it. And the shoe is on the other foot. And that foot is your day gone foot. Niggas is canceling your ass. Y'all ain't gonna like that. They gonna cancel them football snaps. They cancel that section eight. <laughs> cancel them stimulus checks, nigga. They cancel that unemployment, nigga. But cancel, cancel culture.